All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that little, um, that small little announcement video we got going on for Isla Tanoa Realism Server, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys are excited. It is launching on the 24th of this month. I mean, it's a couple days, ladies and gentlemen. Join the Discord, apply, and get going, okay? So I'm going to quickly go through things now. I'm going to show you how to do that real quickly. It's, it's, it's pretty simple, guys. Um, I just want to quickly show you the rules. Uh, we're going to go through the rules real quick. We're not going to read everything because you guys are going to have to read it. And I would also advise that when you do go ahead and uh, check out the rules, just go ahead in here, open up the original, or even so, you don't even have to do that. You can right click and just say save image, all right? Just just save the image, guys, just save it. Save, save all three so that, you know, in your spare time, if you wanna go over it and stuff or refer to it, if a player is maybe reporting you and you need to appeal, I have to put the appeal um, option in here, but don't worry guys, everything's gonna be set up by the time that actually happens. Um, so again, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys like the name. <laughs> As I, I think I spoke about the name in my uh, prehistory video, but yes, your, your boy totally stole Tonoa from Armor 3. It's my favorite map. But anyways, I, it's long, yeah, long story short, it's my favorite map. And, you know, Isla Tonoa Realism just kind of sounds cool. If you guys want to join the Discord, it is in the description below. I'm, I'll also actually um, put it in the comments as well and pin it so that you guys can just find the link. So, ladies and gentlemen, when you join the Discord, you're going to be greeted with all of this. This is the Prior Extinction tab. So basically, you just got to click in here. It's basically going to welcome you to it. Uh, realism as well. This is the section where you can find the realism server rules. And All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just get through the rules real quick. It it's going to be real quick. Okay. We're not going to go through everything. I'm just going to point and highlight a few things out. All right. So we get we've got a social system. Uh, the attack key is very important. Two times, you know, and you're letting another player know that you want to attack them or you want to like challenge them for their food. If you want their body, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to have to challenge them and they're going to challenge you back or run away. If they run away, they simply run away. You can't really chase them down because you're challenging them for the food. If somebody's coming within your territory, um, I still got to work out some territory and some zoning and stuff like that. Just how many meters per dinosaur or whatever. Uh, we've got to make it realistic and playable at the same time, if you get what I'm saying. Because if we make it just realistic, well, a Tyrannosaurus's kill zone is like, what, five miles? <laughs> It's the whole map. It's more than the whole map. So we've got to make it realistic and make it like, you know, say for instance, like 15 meters to like 20 meter zone or like a 30 meter kill zone. You know what I'm saying? Um, so anyway, so we're going to do that. I'm going to put that in and I have to implement it because it is a realism server, ladies and gentlemen. Guys, this server is for people who don't really like coursing and want to have a sense of realism. It's not entirely realistic. Of course, it's still a game and we have to enjoy this game. We have no spawn killing. We've got no K bearing, no coursing. No insult, spam, racism, and sexual. Obviously, guys, that's just a given. Uh, no baiting other players. So, I mean, this means that uh, you don't want to do the friendly call. You don't want to be. You don't want to be spinning in a circle, which means friendly. Um, if you go up to the top where it says social system, it says they're spinning in a circle means friendly. Guys, it, from the from the beginning of this game, this is meant I am friendly, and we're going to continue it. Yes, some dinosaurs spin slower than others, but it doesn't matter. This is a very simple way to just say that you're friendly or whatever. You can even tell the the person that you're friendly. But if you tell the person that you're friendly in the, ch the chat, just know this, ladies and gentlemen, that it is there. And if they take a screenshot and you do break a rule, they can use that against you. So remember, if you say it, mean it, okay? If you say it in the chat that you're friendly, mean it. If you're, fri if you're friendly, if you spin us in a circle and you're meaning that you're friendly, mean it. Because if that player wants to report you, they can. We're going to go through the report system and stuff like that. We're so anyways, no baiting other players, no combat logging. Combat logging, ladies and gentlemen, means menuing. You cannot menu. You get caught menuing, and you're getting gonna get in big trouble. All right, no corpse guarding, which means that um, if, say, a Tyrannosaurus Rex kills one of your trike buddies, and he goes down, but that Tyrannosaurus Rex is messed up, and you're a trike, and you're perfectly fine, but your buddy's dead, you can't guard his body. You gotta walk away from the body, and you gotta just leave it alone. That's it's how it is. You're now tethered to your body. You're tied to that body. It is your body. Once you claim that body, it is yours. You cannot leave the body. You've got to stay within the vicinity of the body. If you need to go get water and you have to travel to go get water, that, that's, there's nothing wrong with that, but return to the body. If the body is gone by the time you return, there's nothing wrong with it. You can then leave it and you can go about your day and do whatever you want to do in the game. Remember, you keep what you kill and you eat what you kill. All right, period. All right, no mixed packing carnivores with herbivores. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, dinosaurs didn't do this. I, I, I don't know, there's no real proof, but I'm pretty sure if we look at animals now in today's modern animals, uh, carnivores and herbivores don't like to mix. It's just, it's not a thing. 
you know, maybe in the primates and stuff like that, but it's not a thing. It doesn't happen, really. It just doesn't happen. They don't like each other, okay? So, we're going to stick to it. Um, we're going to go through the packing and stuff really briefly. You guys can do all of this, and you can copy this all down, and you can just basically study. You guys can study it if you want, and please copy it because you want to refer to it. All right, herbivores are allowed to obviously mix pack, but carnivores and herbivores may not. Carnivores of certain species may mix pack, ladies and gentlemen. Check packing for more details. All right, so let's move on to the next one. Let's get rid of the rules. Realism rules. It's actually pretty simple. I actually want to redo this because it seems a bit messy. Body down rule. Okay, this is basically just um, talking about the body down rule. So this is going to explain everything, ladies and gentlemen. Carnivores may challenge for another dinosaur's claimed food if they do not fear them. So, I mean, keep all of this in mind, guys. Uh, you cannot re-challenge that diner for that food as well. So, again, guys, realism rules. Check them out as well. Copy that down. You know, uh, save it in your phone. Save it to your desktop or whatever. Wherever you want to save it to. Packing. Packing's actually really important. So, we've got different tiers. Tier 0 to Tier 5. Right. Tier 5 dinosaurs. Uh, it's pretty simple. T-Rex, Indominus, and Spinosaurus. You can only have three adults and one baby in the pack. Once the baby's adult, guys, he's got to leave your pack. Um, he has to then also leave the vicinity which means the kill vicinity of each dinosaur and now we're talking about carnivores because herbivores it's a little different ladies and gentlemen it's a little different with herbivores herbivores can pack together herbivores always pack in large groups they've just known to so basically if you get a baby and you're tyrannosaurus you got to kick him out right he can live like he can live like 50 meters down the dirt road there, there's nothing wrong with that if you want to let him eat from your body, like, there's nothing wrong with that either. You can let other dinosaurs, if, if you're a friendly player and you want to let another dinosaur eat from your body, that's your body, there's nothing wrong with that. To claim a body, ladies and gentlemen, you either got to kill that dinosaur or you got to sit down next to a body that you see. So if you see a body on the beach or wherever in the woods, if you sit down next to that body, that's it, you claim it. It's yours, all right? I'm not going to say eating from the, the body is a claim because sometimes that can get messy. Um, so anyways, ladies and gentlemen, it's just that uh, it's packing. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. As you can see, it kind of goes up the smaller the dinosaur gets. I mean, guys, <laughs> with the turret on, you can have 15 adults and 8 babies. I mean, you can have a freaking army. Um, and if, if groups want to group up together and colonize, whatever. I don't care because you know what? Truodons and Utah Raptors, hey, I'm, I'm pretty sure back in, back in the dinosaur era, those dinosaurs used to all group up sometimes, you know, Faction A versus Faction B, you know what I'm saying? They like came together and said, dude, these freaking Tyrannosaurus Rexes are getting out of hand. We've got to kill them all. And they came together and like, you know, <laughs> I don't know. That's probably imaginary and some fantasy bullshit. But you get what I'm saying. You guys can't do that. But it can't happen with any tier above tier two. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. You you basically, it, it, it is restricting people into certain packs and into certain amounts. But um, I think it, it th I think it will do well. We'll see how it does. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, obviously, here in the prior extinction is the Tenora section, um, where you guys can actually recommend maybe some pack sizes, you know, different changes and stuff. I don't mind making changes, ladies and gentlemen. I don't mind catering to my realism fans and crowd. You guys are playing on the server. It's your server. I've made it for you. And uh, look, if Jacko gets, uh, if Jacko makes us have to pay for these servers, I will end up paying for the server. I'll end up running at least one server or two servers. For you guys, I mean, I really wanted, I definitely want to do it on this game. Um, there is no realism service. At least I don't know there's any realism service. I've heard that there is. Another gentleman actually wanted to collab servers. Uh, we can definitely speak about that down the line. Uh, I just want to get the server started and actually have people on it and stuff like that. You know, get that ball rolling. But um, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this server is is for people who want to just have a good time. Um, strike system. All right, we go by a five offense system. All right, where the first two rule breaks will each be a warning. The third progresses to a 24-hour ban. Fourth offense will be a seven-day ban. And the fifth is an indefinite ban, ladies and gentlemen. All right, to report a player... I can actually just open this up. Why I didn't open that up in the first place? Who knows? To report a player, one must have screenshot. All right, one must have a screenshot storm. Why didn't I put <laughs> my English? Or video evidence and use the report section of the Discord to make a report. So basically, ladies and gentlemen, all I'm saying is if you know or if you feel like somebody's about to like cost you or about to kill, you can see them running towards you. You don't have to have OBS open and take the video. I mean, I can show you OBS. Here's OBS. Um, basically, this is doing a screen grab. It's, it's capturing everything on, on the screen or whatever. 
Um, you don't have to have that on the ready. I usually have it on the fly on the ready. I basically, it's not going. But if I see somebody coming for me, I just quickly press start. And, uh, that's when I'm playing the aisle if I need evidence and stuff like that. But ladies and gentlemen, I, 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 I urge you guys to also use screenshots. If you guys can screenshot before and after you're dead and hopefully get that person's, um, and hopefully get that person's gamer tag would be would be actually be great. Remember to highlight your mouse cursor over the player. <laughs> I know it's a lot like it, it, hey, in the heat of the moment, I know it's like pretty hard to actually get all of this stuff. Like, oh my god, he's gonna come for me, I'm gonna take a screenshot. But just try, okay? Screenshots and video evidence is very important if you want to report and get stuff done. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, file a report. This is the format. It's very simple. Um, there's nothing really to explain here. <laughs> It's, it's all in the words, all right? Um, this is all you need to do. I'm going to have an appeal section right here. So you guys can appeal if you are banned or if you, you guys are gonna get, like I said, the strike system's pretty lenient. I mean, you guys are gonna get two two warnings. Or, uh, you guys are gonna get two warnings. Uh, the th 24 hour ban, you know, a seven day ban is like the worst that you're really gonna get besides an indefinite ban, which is terrible. But even indefinite bans can get appealed, ladies and gentlemen. We are not heartless bastards on here and um, I like I like good people, and and if you can admit your wrongs, and if you you know don't do it again, we may actually give you another chance. The service for people who want something that's realism, but they also don't want to be a part of a crowd that wants to cost each other. And you know you get what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen. It's very hard to play in the public servers when everybody's just killing each other. So, anyways, guys, um, yeah, uh, the next thing we got to go through is the applications. So, if you want to apply, join my Discord. And you basically come here to applications for Isla Tenora Realism. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and then all you really need to do once you're here is you need to just get your Roblox username and just paste it right here, put it in, and then all these names are going to be added to the server. So when when it goes live, you guys can join. All right, so it's it's a semi-private server. I mean, people can join it. Uh, you anybody can join it. Anybody doesn't you, you don't even have to be subscribed to the channel. You can join it. You got to join the Discord. And you gotta put your name here, and I'm gonna add it to the server list. And uh, you know, when there's a free slot, you get in. Yeah, I, it's, it's it's an extremely simple application process. There's really nothing to it. It's a general text chat. Um, people, you know, asking questions about what's going on and stuff like that. So here's herbivores, herbivores two, carnivores, and carnivores two, ladies and gentlemen. We have in we have 40 for the herbivores, and then 20 for the other one. Um, and then we've got 24 carnivores and 24 carnivores. Yeah, because carnivores are very limited to packs. Ladies and gentlemen, these are more for like the Trirodons and the Utahraptors, right? So, I mean, yeah, you're not really going to be using these if you're a Tyrannosaur. You're going to be using these ones. They're all packed individually perfectly to their numbers, ladies and gentlemen. So you don't have to worry about any of that. There's a lot of them, but it's quite easy to figure out. I mean, yeah, I've even got the Trirodons down here. <laughs> 23 of them. So this is one of the ways I'd like to please you guys, is to make this realism server. And I thought it was a great idea. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, as well, I just wanted to mention... We're going to be changing up the day and night cycle because obviously VIP service, the day and night cycle is long, all right? Uh, when you guys want to change it to daytime or nighttime for that matter, let me know and, and we will think about it. Or, you know, I'll generally just change it, especially on nighttime if it's just too long and you guys don't want it to be night anymore. <laughs> oh, excuse me, I got some gas. Um, yeah, I'll just change it. You know, I don't mind that. Um, I don't like the nighttime as much as anybody, to be honest. I like the nighttime in real life. I do everything at night, but you know, I'm like a vampire. But, you know, in game, in dinosaur games, it's better at, in the day. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, um, with all of that said, that's it. I mean, there's not much more to say besides I hope that you guys join the Discord and I hope you guys join the server. I want to see it full. I want to I want to have to make another one. <laughs> if I have to make... Another one on another freaking account. I'm going to have to do it. I'm sorry, Jacko, if I'm not allowed to do that, but I'm going to do it, okay? I, if, hey, if you want us to pay for it, make make it payable. <laughs> but if we have to pay for it, Jacko, just remember, I want proper admin stuff. I want to have, like, fly cam. I want to have TP. I want to have growths and stuff like that. I want to I be able to grow players and, and teleport players and, and kill players if I want to instantly kill a player. You know what I'm saying? I want to have that admin control. You know, I've, I've seen that admin control you got. So if we have to pay for the service, which I don't mind, like 500 whatever a month or a thousand a month. Look, not dollars, uh, Robux. Okay, let's make it clear. <laughs> um, yes, uh, all I would ask for is that we just have more control. I don't want to have control of like all the dinosaurs and being able to change my dinosaur. No, no, no. 
But I want to be able to at least maybe insta-grow me or teleport, uh, fly cam, insta-grow other people in the server. You know, if somebody kills them and it's, it's an illegal kill or they broke a rule, I'd like to actually be able to help that person out and grow that person. So, I mean, hey, I don't know. If you can make VIP servers free and have a paid version of it, that would be great. I'd, I'd absolutely love that. But anyway, that's an idea, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think Jackal will ever do it. Let's hope he never takes these away either. <laughs> I did want to actually just quickly mention that, um, you know, guys, if you do get banned on the server, right, you, you're not going to get banned on the Discord, okay, unless you obviously, <laughs> you, you're being toxic and, you know, full of crap on the Discord, you know, um, and even on the Discord, we kind of go by the exact same strike kind of system, so, I mean, if you get, you're going to get your two warnings and stuff like that, so, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, um, just the only thing that would really get you instantly banned is like pornography, sexism, you know, racism and stuff like that. We just, we don't tolerate that. Remember guys, we are like, we are a huge globe. There are like 8 billion people. All right. And we're, we're all people of color and different kinds and different races, different cultures. So guys, you know, we've got to, we've got to accept each other, you know, we, and we've got to play by a certain way. And I just think that racism and sex, that stuff just has no place. In my world, um, I don't know about anybody. It just it doesn't have any place in my world. So, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, uh, yeah, that's. I just wanted to quickly mention that as well. But with all of that said, guys, that's it. I mean, there's really nothing else to say. It's it's pretty simple, guys. Just please copy the rules, save them, refer to them when you need to when you're on the server. Um, you're gonna get people that are obviously gonna join, and but maybe they're gonna course whatever. Uh, you know, we'll talk to them. Uh, we do have. A little room down here, a little boardroom and meeting room. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, um, yeah, yeah. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, with all of that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, you know what you got to do. You've got to hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing and hitting that red button. Turning it gray. Uh, you can hit the bell icon to get notified from my channel. And remember to join the Discord, ladies and gentlemen, because, uh, yeah, you can get a, you get to be a part of some early news on videos and stuff like that. Thumbnails, you know, uh, sometimes I post stuff that I edit. And, um, yes, realism servers and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So this is cool stuff. I hope you enjoyed the video as well. I hope Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.